Hi, I'm Rob from Hopzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we are looking at a bottle of West Coast IPA from the Green Flash Brewing Company in San Diego, California. 7.3% ABV. Uh, I've had this um, a number of years ago and really enjoyed it. In my opinion, it's becoming kind of like a real modern classic. Is is this beer really kind of? Diff I guess it's because it's so simple, simply um, titled um, West Coast IPA. It is, has become quite synonymous with the style as this. It's been a while since I've had a bottle, so I'm really looking forward to this. Loving the new Green Flash bottles with the kind of the extruded um, logo on it. So yeah, I picked this up recently from my brewery tap, part of their um, pick and mix selection at the moment. It is bottle conditioned, quite heavily bottle conditioned. A lot of loose sediment in this, so you know me, I'm not a fan of sediment. I do like it one continuous pour. So I might not get much space in this. Ooh, so it's like a ghost of sediment. Oh, look at the colour of that. Looks amazing. I don't know how old this is. Um, can't see a date on it anywhere. I mean, San Diego beers, you do want them kind of fresh to get the most out of that. Something I've definitely um, learned recently is Paramount. The colour of the beer in the glass, a lovely, lovely, kind of slightly dark copper, a real kind of radiant glowing amber. The head, lovely, nice, tight, creamy, um, pretty much white, maybe a slight hue to it, but that might be the beer in the glass kind of sneaking its way through. Anyway, I'm trying not to smell it, because I'm sure this is going to be a real treat. Anyway, let's have a sniff. Mmm, I, I think it's because I ain't much in, <laughs> much air space in that, I'm not getting loads. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, it's all kind of, one thing I, I learned from having the fresh beers from Stone, this big resinous quality that um, West Coast IPAs really should have. Kind of bitter, dr like a really intense dry pellet hop aroma. Grapefruit, definitely like freshy tart grapefruit. Orange juice, I'm going more kind of like tangerine, kind of slightly softer than like a big Jaffa orange. A nice kind of... Um, Quite sugary caramel malt backbone. Anyway, I cannot wait to try to get get stuck into this beer. So, cheers. Let's have a taste. Oh. Wow, that is awesome. That is awesome. Oh, <laughs> even within, within that kind of breadth of style of West Coast IPA, you're just thinking to Stone Road Nation, there is a similarity, but there's, I think it shows the breadth of style because it is very different, but there is a commonality in there. That's just beautiful. I'm going to have a drink before I even start thinking about the flavours because it's just so damn enjoyable. Oh, oh. It's quite bitter. I don't know if there's IBUs on the bottle. Can't see one. But it is really quite bitter, but it's a lovely, really nice, fresh grapefruit flavour. Wow, that keeps coming and coming. That's beautiful. Initially nice and light and good amount of carbonation. Keeps it kind of fresh and zesty and citrus. Um, lemon, all, all the kind of like, all of the above, you mean. Lemon, grapefruit, orange. Wow, that, that bitterness really builds up nicely. There's a, yeah, there's a nice mild toffee flavour to, to the kind of like backbone of this beer. You do feel that kind of prickling of hops around the edges of your tongue. But yeah, that nice burnt kind of um, top of a, an oven loaf is kind of in there. Yeah, maybe a bit of fleshy kind of mango. Maybe pineapple juice, maybe. But there's this bitterness that keeps coming and building. It's got a, like a nice burnt, slightly bitter orange quality. Definitely lots of lots of that slightly perfumed quality you get when eating fresh grapefruit. Yeah, it just comes there and it's quite floral, slightly perfumed, quite dry, but the, the mouthfeel keeps it nice and wet, but the flavour is quite a dry cutting sharpness. I mean, it just wafts around and sticks around and it's lovely and fragrant and floral, but with this quite concise, tart, lingering 
bitterness that just keeps coming and hanging about and it's just lovely, it really is. Absolutely top draw. I mean, I like I like an IPA, it's got a lot of sweetness, um, well, decent amount of sweetness, like fresh orange juice, that kind of like juicy mango kind of tropical fruit kind of punch. But this is more on the grapefruit kind of prickly bitterness, but it is absolutely top draw. Oof. It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. A real exercise in perfect West Coast IPA. Wow. It kills me that I can't get balls of this beer more readily. Should I buy some more? It's damn good. That's beautiful. That's an absolute cracking beer. Anyway, I can just um, talk about how wonderful this, this beer is forever, but it's going to bore everybody senseless. <laughs> so that is West Coast IPA from uh, Green Flash Brewing Co. in San Diego, California. 7.3% ABV. All my expectations, all my memories of this beer have not, have not been kind of compromised by this experience. If more heightened it's even better than i remember it it's even better than i hoped it was going to be it's absolutely top draw don't do not sleep on this beer because i mean there might be trendier beers and there might be like planet of the elders and really rare things like that but this cannot be denied as one of the best ipas in the world it's an absolute corker i think it just shows the nice breadth of style that it can get even in an area like san diego from um, something like uh, pure hoppiness from Alpine to this to uh, to Pliny the Elder to Stone Ruination to um, uh, Five Stone Walkers um, Union Jack. I think it just shows there's an absolute unbelievable spectrum of flavours within this IPA category. It's an absolute corker. I'm really happy to have had the opportunity to try this beer again. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. This time around, the question that I'm going to ask you is. What's your favourite IPA? Actually, a bit more specific, what is your favourite West Coast? It could be West Coast style, or it could be a West Coast brewed IPA. Leave them in the comment box. Subscribe, like, all that good business. Anyway, I'm Rob from popzine.com, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.